question from Brian Parnell, and he wants to know, are there certain promoters who are better for certain genres, or is it usually eclectic? I've booked with hip-hop guys putting on rock shows, but would rather work with the rock guys who promote good venues, for example. Mr. Steinberg, you want to handle that one? Yeah, I mean, it, they're definitely, everybody's best at something. You know, it's funny when you take your ACTs, you know, there's a verbal and there's a math, and some people are great at verbal and some people are great at math. And, you know, if you're, you want to be an accountant, you want somebody that's going to be good with numbers. It's like, so if you're doing rock shows, you want the guys that promote Incubus to do your show. If you want to be a hip hop band, you want the guy that does Wu-Tang Clan. And while they all may play the same venues and there might be some overlap in promoting, there really is better niche promoters at certain things. You know, we don't do much jazz. We're just not good at it. And it's fucking boring. We do a lot of comedy because that's what we like. We do a lot of PBS shows because we found a flair for that because it reminds me of 80s radio where you're kissing the PD's ass. You know, it's like you service them, you give them the tickets, you fucking blow them, and they fucking give you a free infomercial for your show. It's like just how we had to give the, fu the first 20 rows to the stations back in the 80s to give them to play the single. It's like, it's not payola because, you know, we're buying ads. It's different. Yeah. Dan, you know, I love your candor, you know. As long as Dan's here, I'm not going to be the crassest guy in the house. I fucking love that. We can, you can say that anything you want. Uh, by the way, it was so true, folks. Uh, I saw one in here from Alex Barnett, but it'll sound better if you ask it. It was about, can you see that one in the chat room? Yeah, so Alex wanted to know, does a band have to draw a certain amount before you work with them? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's only so many acts and, and so much time. We're doing about 600 shows a year now, and... To get into our scope, usually you need to come in as a support act or you need to break a single, you need distribution. It's best to start at the clubs, call direct, start to build a following, and then start circling out, playing the markets that are within an hour of your hometown, and then continue to spiral out further and further and continue to re-hit the clubs as you're going out, but maybe once every month go on one market further but continue to keep building and it'll spiral and it'll continue to create the shock wave as you go. And when it's happening, you got your followers on Twitter, your Facebook is building, people are talking about it, we'll find you. I think that's a common theme, folks. You know, you got to go out and just keep doing stuff. And, and when you're out there in the scoring zone, the people that are paying attention that do this for a living, they will find you. Believe it or not, they will. If you're doing something great, that's the key item.